Let's Roll go, live. let's go. Roll live. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to the Vegas Live Podcast. My name is Chris K. I'm Alan Turner. Kevin Sherbert. Yes, yes, it is a beautiful Friday. The weather has cooled down in Las Vegas. It is officially way cooler. Hey, man, it gets like hot and then cold. I mean, yeah. you know what? You know what people don't understand? It was like one day. Yeah. People don't understand, like, okay, it, it gets into the 50s, and then I know people on the East Coast are like, well, yeah, 50s, that's not that cold. It is when the previous day was 90. Right. You know, when you go from 90 to 50, that's. You didn't grab your hoodie. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? You didn't yeah. grab a vest, no yeah. nothing. That's what's funny about it. Raw dog and you got it. If it's, if it's 69 degrees, yeah. you got yeah. a hoodie on. 69. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. That's at, that's at Cali. <laughs> that's that, Kelly. We have a great show today. We are talking about the ultimate Las Vegas relocation guide. So anybody looking to relocate to the beautiful city of Las Vegas, this episode is definitely for you. 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 Are we all relocation people? I mean, a lot of people from Vegas are relocated. Are relocated. I've been here yeah. for over 20 years. So Where'd you come from? California, by uh, way of Chicago. Oh. Chicago, Cali here. Boom. I came from California by the way of California. I came from California by the way of California. Oh, California. I hope the Vegas people out there, we've been here long enough, right? So we, right. we get the pass. So what is that called? We would be a native. Native? No, yeah. that's not native. Yeah. We would be naturalized, right? Naturalized? I don't know. What, 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 what is <laughs> I it? I thought it was native. Naturalized? No. Naturalized? The people that, that's nations. No, the, the people that, be, that are here after a certain amount of time naturalized are naturalized right no yes isn't no that with so, only nations though i thought no, i don't know i don't know but isn't there google some, it google we're citizens hey siri <laughs> what is it called when you live in a certain area for a long amount of not uh, a long time time <laughs> 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 We're going rough today, guys. Uh, yeah, it's been a uh, Halloween was yesterday, know. and we've been partying. I've know, been right. partying since what uh, Virgo season. Virgo. <laughs> I've been going hard. Nah, I okay. need to go hard. I need to go on that challenge. Oh, challenge. Oh yeah. So I'm 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 challenge. nearing my my 100 day challenge. Yeah. So basically, that consists of a lot of things, though. You want, should I break it down yeah, or what? Yeah, yeah. You got like so many things on that. You sent me a text. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, lot. Yeah, yeah. Read read every day. Text every. I mean, <laughs> text every day. Yeah, text every day. But read every day. Write every day. Hit the gym every day. Um, and also post. You gotta post every day, like something like that. Uh, you working on your craft, whatever your craft may be. If you cook, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You could post that. It doesn't have to be something you do professionally, but just something that you like to do, you're working on your craft. Post that every day, like music or... I, some reason I chose boxing. I, I, boxing came into the picture, and then I started boxing. And I started working on so I posted that every day. Um, go to the gym every day. Eat clean. So okay. you got to pick some kind of diet that, that you do and kind of stick to it. Okay. Drink a gallon of water every day. Okay. Yeah. It's a whole list. It's a whole how, list. How, how, far, how far are you on it right now? 93. 93 today. You know what wow. What step you haven't been making, though? What? That I remember? I know. I 10 know. compliments a day, bro. I've been doing a good job complimenting complimenting people. You do I, it all at the gym? Yeah. I I, com I just, it'd be little compliments here. And like, oh, yeah, you know, I like that. Good job. Hey, good pass. <laughs> good good <laughs> shot. Good, you know what I mean? I just, and, I, I just, I, I, and also, I just walk up to people and I just be like, hey, I really like I really like your outfit. Man. Right. You look, it looks really nice. You know what I mean? Thank you do you. a great job doing loans, bro. Like, Thanks, bro. You know Thanks, what I mean? Like, <laughs> and, you know, I, I noticed ever since I've been doing this like my life has changed like wow like, changed, what, like, what made you decide to, to do this um oh uh i i seen the i heard about the 75 hard challenge okay and i listened to the podcast okay and then i was like well i'm the type of person that does my own thing so let me do a hundred <laughs> and let me add, and, and let me, let, let me add some other stuff to it. But one thing that's really cool about it is I actually wrote a contract. I typed up a full on contract where I signed, Oh wow! dated it and everything because that's what makes it solid. That's dope. So yeah. was there any like any penalties if, if you didn't like abide by the contract? You start all over. You have to go to court. Yeah. You, like, no, you just start, you just start all over. And then the, the, the goal is that at the end of it, I could, you know, legitimately, officially call myself hard as fuck, or the hardest person was in it, the world. That was what it was called. Hundred right? hard. Go hard. Yeah, go 100? hard. Yeah, like that's hard, bro. I'm the hardest. Like hundred hard. 100. Go hard one hundred. Go hard one hundred. Go hard one hundred challenge, bro. It's it's. You a, still have the text, right? 
Yeah, I still have the text. Shoot it on over to him. Yeah, them. yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you. And then Wifey the uh, yesterday was like, oh man, can't wait to I can't wait till next week because we're gonna be partying because my you know what I'm saying we we party. That's so, what's up. I so, like to party too. I love party. Mate, taking a hundred days off, man, you're gonna be like that's a the reward, week. right? No, the, the party is I'm hard. Like, no. Wait, so the party is the reward. No, the reward is being hard. I'm hard. hard. I could do it hard. anytime. I can do it. I could do it anytime I feel like it. You know, ain't no challenge. What? I go in here, smash things hard, <laughs> one honey, hard. all day. All right. Uh, okay. Well, um, let's get back to the complete guide. Yes. <laughs> of the Las Vegas relocation guide, right? Yes. Yes. So also, if if you guys are interested, too, we have a uh, PDF files. That, that if you wanted our relocation guide in PDF form, you yep. can go ahead and send that to you. Just go ahead and drop a comment or send a DM. Or if this is on YouTube, then send a, <laughs> drop a comment. Wherever yeah, we post it, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Go okay. So you. segment one, we're going to talk about choosing the right neighborhood. So when you moved here, right. Kevin. Right. Did you have the luxury of choosing the right neighbor or well, choosing the name? I had the luxury of um, Greg. Mm. He had lived here before. Okay. So he lived in, in Henderson, mm-hmm. right? Um, yeah. He said Summerlin's cool. It's nice. Mm-hmm. But it's clear on the other side of town. Right. Away from the work, right? Right. The office. Okay. So, um, so yeah, I had the benefit of like him knowing the areas. Green Valley, um, Anthem. Okay. Donald Ranch. Okay. So yeah, Seven I got. Hills. I had someone who I kind of knew the areas already. Yeah. Nice. What about you? Same. Uh, Same. Like right down the street, Horizon Ridge and Carnegie. Oh. Right you, down you, the street from Green Valley Ranch. That was the first uh, neighborhood. Green Valley was the first what, neighborhood I moved to. Oh wow. Yep. That's so crazy because when we I just highlighted that last week, bro. Yeah. Exactly. Because when <laughs> I moved to Vegas, I Henderson, Green yeah. Valley. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's remarkable. How Henderson was the spot we all chose to go. It might, it might be because you're close to like where you come in from California. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Inspirata, the master plan community out in Henderson, um, definitely has like Bay Area feel, uh, right? so, and SoCal feels like all in one. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, you come nice. in on the 15 and you're, you're right there. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna highlight the popular neighborhoods and and who the, who they're there for. Yes. So we talked about Henderson, Green Valley, Summerlin. Uh, we also have downtown Las Vegas. We have Centennial Hills and the Strip and the high rise living situation. Right. Yes. Yes. So uh, a, a lot of people initially want to go to Summerlin because that's like a popular suburb type. Right. Um, but it's the newer. It's the newest. It's the newest one. Yes. And pretty robust i mean you have the city national arena uh where the the golden knights practice and also unlv the hockey team plays there you got okay the las vegas ballpark oh yeah the ballpark have you been to a ball game yeah i have oh is it fun good time it's awesome did Uh, you did you come we didn't win though norcal or socal uh central actually central cal fresno california oh that's crazy Central Cal, SoCal, NorCal. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this this show just came together like Voltron. <laughs> it was destined. <laughs> so the the I how I look at like Summerlin versus Henderson. Henderson like the newer part is nice. Right. But it's like small town nice. Yes. Yeah. Right? Where Summerlin like is big city but new, you know. Yeah. yeah. And agree. they were uh in 2022, I believe they were promoting in San Francisco, uh, Summerlin. Summerlin, yeah. Mm, nice. We actually helped the family relocate from from San Francisco. Look right. at him. They uh, moved to the Paseo. Oh. They also say that Summerlin, like for uh, like, they got younger people, a lot more younger. Yeah, tech, demographic. A lot more tech. Um, yeah, tech professionals. Uh, yeah, in, right. are in that area. Yeah. Because you also have like WeWork. You have the WeWork space. Right you know there. the co-working space mm-hmm. too. Right. So that's like worldwide and pretty big in the bay so yeah explain we work like, what, what is we work so it's a co-work space okay so, so there's many different uh you know businesses uh or teams that either have offices in there or you can um 
also have like a shared workspacing oh. and stuff too so it's okay. like and then got individual meeting rooms okay all kinds it's of like stuff. shared so, office for like entrepreneurs right? but oh, that okay. was the first that was actually when i joined exp we had an office at we work in oh. town square so that's oh. where we would have our all our team meetings in town square gatherings yeah call days everything yep oh. and then i think DraftKings bought out the whole floor and oh then, yeah <laughs> and then we were screwed. and then we were done <laughs> yeah it's, cr- it's crazy because draft cream the re- draft kings isn't allowed to be in here right no it's, but they they're buying up all this space just so they can avoid taxes well eventually when eventually they, when they, they make it okay you know what I'm saying yeah. they're buying it you know what i mean it's just kind of kind of like monopoly like, they're hey, waiting they're waiting they're, for their they're, time they're waiting for their time and then um another thing is is southwest las vegas is starting like mountain's edge and stuff like that so that's where i eventually moved from henderson to the southwest mm-hmm. um because of property because you know we, we got a property cheap over there and then they're developing now they're um upgrading a lot of things yeah, yeah you got southwest. the durango over there durango really that was made, big for durango for really made it pop as soon as durango opened then it kind of opened up a lot of different things you know yeah because so, yeah. all you had was what Rhodes ranch and right Rhodes, ikea yeah that's yeah. what southwest was waiting for was a new casino yeah because we had to go all the way up to red rock or all the way to uh Pretty south valid. point oh, south point silverton yeah. south point that nobody it. wants nobody goes I to mean, silverton but hey, that hey, was don't, the don't closest, casino, that was no, the closest no, nobody, one no, for no, that nobody, area no, though no, nobody goes there i'm just kidding <laughs> I, I love silverton they have the mermaids bro you oh, the the the, the the fish. I take my kids to the fish tank see, over there. There you go, man. I take my kids like to, the, to, to the, the the Bass Pro Shop. Over Every there, casino has its thing. Yeah, you know? absolutely. They got a yeah. Cracker Barrel too. A oh, Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Cracker, you know what? We used to go to Cracker Barrel every time we were on our way to California. There you it's like, go. we'll stop by the Cracker Barrel. Boom. And then See, we just... we're over here trying to, you know, discount Hating. the Silverton over here, man. Right. Was I? You fox with it. What was you I? You fox with was it. Was I? I don't know. Okay, okay, so how do we pick the best neighborhood? What happens when you get, I'm asking the realtors. Hi. Yes. Because I'm just about financing, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Okay. Do they qualify? Yeah. What happens when you get somebody who has no idea where they're going? They don't have a friend that lives here first they are they're going to check out the vegas life podcast to get three friends acclimated exactly <laughs> no three friends but um you know i i like to just ask them what's important to them you know right. what I'm saying? are you an active person do you like you know do you need to go to the gym a lot do you need are you a social person do you need to be around you know certain things or do you are you an outdoors person where you need to hike hike and stuff mm-hmm. like that so i ask what kind of lifestyle do they live you know what yeah I mean? you do that on the intake you yeah. know when we talked about last uh the last mm-hmm. week so on the buyer's intake uh-huh. those are some of the questions that you ask uh-huh. and those are some of the negotiables non-negotiables definitely want to get those out in the open yeah, yeah. then also too you want to download the uh las vegas drive tour drive that tour I, that i composed myself there you go it Composer. highlights many neighborhoods yes. and uh points of emphasis and interest mm-hmm. and also gives you links to open houses in the area right. so uh-huh. yes if you right. really want to get familiar with the city yeah definitely i recommend you drive do the drive guide drive guide right. las vegas drive guide. because yeah, yeah. the thing is you have buyers that they're going to be looking at just the houses right mm-hmm. they're going right. to pick up a, a price range they're going to say all of las vegas and henderson i mean you could end up anywhere really yeah yeah, yeah. Absolutely. and and out here you could have a whole bunch of different areas and all the houses look similar right yeah, yeah. so you know they were built in 2000 2005 whatever yeah that was when the city blew up and then oh, yeah, go ahead, go but ahead. you might not know and i always tell this is the funny thing i tell my real estate partners the infrastructure the infrastructure yeah you might have a fill-in build mm-hmm. right a new build in like an old neighborhood right where the the, the stores are old the streets are old mm-hmm. like so you gotta figure out if you like the infrastructure exactly so when i i, I previous i briefly lived on the strip because you know i thought like strip, you were gonna be cool yeah well i was cool <laughs> i am cool stay cool <laughs> But the problem was the infrastructure was messed up because you're on a strip, right? Yeah. If you want to get groceries. It's a pain. You're going to have to go to a grocery store where you got to watch your back a little bit. Right. You can't just, you know what I mean? Because you're on a strip. So the grocery stores that are nearby. People are partying. I mean, you got it, what, Twain over yeah, there? Yeah. I, I, so I used, to live, I, I used to live right there at the Meridians on Flamingo and Koval. Okay. So the I think the Vons was on Twain, right? Yeah. yeah. And you know what I'm saying? The little That's season. hometown right there. Yeah. So I'm just like, <laughs> I don't I don't like this. Yeah, I don't right. like, you know what I'm saying? Like when I want to go sh- grocery shopping, 
I want to be comfortable right. grocery shopping. You right. Know? Yeah. You know? Yeah, there's, I mean, we have a colorful, uh, you know, mix of neighborhoods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, want to be able to go to a gas station in the middle of the night and not have to yeah. you know, worry about Well, that, and yeah. that was the funny part moving here. You know, all my friends were like, oh, you're moving to Vegas. Like, where do you go shopping? Do you just eat at the buffet? Do you go uh, shopping at yeah. the casino? Yeah. Like, Most yeah. people don't understand that, you know, there's Vegas life has outside normal. The strip. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to lie. When I first moved to Las Vegas, I gained like 40 pounds, like just eating really? well. Eating yeah. What well. was what was your where we're at? Yeah. What was your uh, guilty pleasure? Roberto's. <laughs> Dude, oh you know what's God. funny is everybody moves here, and especially from California, and that's all that's all we got. So right. you kind of know where you're going, right? And yeah. you're like, this is like Aldoberto's. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. It, yep. uh, my general rule of thumb is if it ended in an O, it was pretty decent. Oh, yeah. But R- Roberto's. No. Yeah. No? Oh, not for me. Oh, wait, Don Taco? Is that, is no, that you? What, what actually, you? What um... What do you do? Where's Yeah, where's that cheap, cheap Mexican taqueria? Well, actually, I'm a vegetarian, so my mm. go-to is Poncho's Vegan. Poncho's Tropic, Vegan? Yeah, Tropicana. Oh. Yeah, they got the Taco Tuesday. You can get four tacos oh. for like what are, What's bucks? a vegan put in their tacos, bro? Mushroom? Tofu. Well, there's seitan. There's a wheat Mushroom. Protein. Mushrooms, right? Uh, Nopales, uh, cactus. Oh yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. That's good. No, I've, I I was briefly vegan, then <laughs> then I st- started accepting the finer things in life. And just, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, just kidding. no. It's it's, it's it's fine being vegan. Like I, I I don't mind being vegan. It was just hard. It was hard. I, it was I mean, it's big. come a long way though. I mean, it's, don't sleep. Yeah, because what I realized too, a lot of the food is just really just the the seasoning, like. It tastes exactly. the same. Like I, right. I, I would have vegan burgers. They were fine. Like you know what I mean. Yep. It'll cost a little more. You know what I mean. It's like, but you know, you got to pay for quality. Pay for you know keeping yourself. How long is it? How long you been vegan, bro? Uh, over ten years. Uh, 2013. Yeah. Did yeah, it like make vegan. you feel more healthy or? I I felt an energy increase for sure in the first uh, three months. I lost, I lost a few pounds, but I didn't. I realized that I didn't spend a whole lot of time digesting my food. Oh, see, that's you know important. what I'm saying. Like it's easier on my in, on my Guts. body. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Because you know how you get the itis. Let me throw yeah. let me throw this. And at that's you. like that's your body yeah. working overtime to just yeah, digest your exactly. food. Exactly. So so that that, that food coma, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I get that all the time. Yeah. 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 Um, bacon. Yeah. You bucks with it? No. That's straight meat. What yeah. I, stop, you know, dude, I stop vegan that. And, and vegetarians, man. Sometimes they make an exception for bacon. bacon. I don't know why. That's pork. I don't do pork. It's in no everything. Pork, anyways, no pork on my so. pork. Yeah, no. Nope. Sorry. Yeah, it was red meat. I'll pass I stopped. Door? I stopped red meat first. No. Then it was no. Then it was pork, and then it was chicken. Yeah. That was the progression. Oh, and yeah. I started that like years before. Yeah. Before that. Yeah. No seafood either, huh? I'm allergic. Oh, oh damn! Yeah. Well, What's I can that? have. What well, it's funny though. I We're can like, have damn. shellfish. What was that oh, place we went? But to, I can't bro? have fish. Fish. Angry crab. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That place is pretty dope. Yeah. Though. Angry crab. Bag of crab, bro. I can do crab. Yeah. I can oh. do lobster. Oh, calamari. We're gonna have to do a whole little, little little crab. Uh, that crab. was food coma. A seafood boil. Yeah. Huh? That shit was good, but that was food coma. Yeah, absolutely. With all that Came butter. Came back to the office and I was like, with all that butter <laughs> and everything. C3 is good too in Chinatown. I heard about that too. Yeah, it's pretty I, heard, dope. I heard about that too as well. Also, another thing that people got to um, take into account too, what I realized is if you have kids, the schooling as right. well. Like, for example, with me, we live on the Southwest, right? But the school that we chose to put our kids in is here in Green Valley area. So I make that commute every day just because of the school. Right. Yeah, right. And Clark, was, Clark County's working on that, you know. Yeah. So Clark County is the fifth largest school district, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, we have a lot of great schools in Clark County that include public, of course, charter schools, magnet schools, and also Montessori schools. It's very important to highlight what Montessori is. All right. Well, highlight it, bro. I don't know oh. what you're talking about. It's a certain type of schooling where the kids are actually grouped, um, grouped by uh, age, so they're not all first graders, all right. second graders. So you you could be grouped in the first, second, third grade group, group. Yeah. which which is really interesting because after school, when do you go to a job market or a job where everyone's the same age? 
They never, don't. never. When do you go into a company where everybody's the same age? Yeah. So it would make sense to learn yeah. in the same capacity, right? And so then you got the younger kids learning something from the older kids. Yeah. Yep. Vice versa. And then the way that they set up their classroom is it's they go in and they have just jobs that they do. So they, they have the classroom set up to where you can choose what activity you want to learn from and every activity you le- obviously learning something from them wow. and you can either do it by yourself you can do it um, in a group do it in a group you could do it with a partner you could ask the teacher for help really because you got to think about this when you go to a job are you just sitting there at your desk looking at your own you know what i'm saying doing your own no. i am no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> but you, you're able to actually Cold. Like interact yeah well that's the whole part of school is being able to you know social learning social yeah. skill uh, right. skills and communication skills yeah. so absolutely yeah. that's a huge part and it seems like they're just they're empowering the children at a young age absolutely so definitely uh you know make those connections quicker mm-hmm. because yeah. that's the whole goal of school and education is get a connecting prepared. experience with knowledge yeah and be able to to um co co habitate exist exist, coexist (laughs) with with with, uh, other kids as as well you know and and they do yoga bro i'm like what yoga they they did like yeah we have yoga i was like all right sign them up (laughs) so they don't have nap time they have yoga time they they had not nap time until like yoga no man that that school though like his daughter came in here one day and blew me away with how smart she was yeah Bro, she's writing. Oh. She's seven. She's she's writing a whole book right now. She's writing. Really? Yeah, yeah she, she's way ahead. She's writing a whole. And 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 with the school, they uh, you learn at your own pace. Like if if you you know how like some schools, if you're like way smarter, then they'll like calm hold, down, hold you relax, back, hold you back. Or if you're r- really slow, you they they make you feel like inferior because you're like not you know where right, you're supposed right, to right. be. You know I'm saying it, you just learn at your own pace. That's dope. Learn at your own I pace. I like it. You know. So, yeah, there's a lot of different schools. And also, like had you said, that school is all about coexisting with other students or in the network. Mm-hmm. Um, one, a lot of, what would you say about the schools here or the high school? Bishop Gorman um, has the most NFL players. They do, actually. Um, the state of Nevada has the most oh, yeah. high school football players in the NFL. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think it's about 15. This last draft. About yeah. uh, 15 Straight out of high school Yeah Well from okay. From yeah. high school <laughs> But ma- mainly uh, Bishop Gorman uh, Centennial And I want to say Desert Oasis Yeah Cause But a- the most are from Bishop Gorman Yeah uh, Roma Dunze Chicago Bears Okay Wide receiver There you go uh, You got Joe uh, Sorry Flacco. Joey Flacco. No, Troy oh, I don't know Fontenot Sure, Fountain Bishop, Blue, Bishop Gorman. Yeah, uh, yeah. he plays for the uh, Niners. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, nah, I think he plays for the <laughs> Raiders. He plays nah. for the Colts. <laughs> the Colts, huh? Oh, the Colts are playing. Um, and Jaden, Jaden Hicks, Jaden Smith. What? He's from uh, Bishop Gorman. Okay, he's cool. playing for the Kansas so City. Want, so if you want to, you know, play in the NFL, you should come out here. That's what yeah. you're saying. You have a good shot. You do. What Great. neighborhood would you live in for that high school? Uh, what Bishop Gorman? Yeah, that's uh, South Summerlin. Yep. South Summerlin. So there you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, South Summerlin. And then I want to throw. Uh, I want to do like a community event, like a barbecue, where we barbecue. We play a basketball. We could we could play a little football. What are you gonna make for him, bro? Um, um, cactus tacos. We got- <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> got you. Well, we got Impossible too. Yeah. Oh, bro. When I was vegan, we was killing them Impossible mm-hmm. burgers, baby. Just keeping them in business, huh? <laughs> what do they make that shit out of? <laughs> Uh, plants, soy. You don't know. They say just, it's just plant based. Just, just, yep, plants. Yeah, I I don't drink cow's milk. We don't drink. We don't have no cow's milk in in our house. Exa- soy that's milk. Good. Yeah. So what you do? Soy milk. Soy. Yeah. Soy. No milk. almond. No oat. We have, we have a little almond milk. A little oat milk. A cashew. But, nah. No. Nah, Never nah, heard of that one. Not really. It's a new one. You know what else is really good? Mm. Uh, we used to get the tofu right, the okay. tofu, and smash it all up and put um, turmeric. Yep. T- turmeric on it mm-hmm. and just scramble it up it tastes just like scrambled eggs i swear to god oh yeah a tastes, little tofu scramble tastes just like scrambled eggs 
I put the veggies in it too. I put yeah. the like spinach and the yolk. Oh, oh like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Onion, that <laughs> bell pepper. That's a good lifestyle for sure. All right, uh, we're gonna take a quick break, and then we're gonna come back with lifestyle and uh, amenities and all kinds of good stuff. We also have the market report, right? You guys got the market, market update for sure. Market market update Dude. coming up. Is, is, it, is it going down? Is it going up? We'll tell you after the break. Ah, all right. Stay tuned. All right, man. We'll be back. Are you thinking about moving to Las Vegas? Here's what you need to know because it's way more than just bright lights and casinos. On the Vegas Live podcast, we are going to break down the best neighborhoods for families, where to find the top rated schools, and which communities fit your lifestyle. Whether you're all about luxury or outdoor living or that high rise city vibe, we got you covered. We got episodes packed with tips for first time home buyers, inside info for the Vegas job market, and even a look at the, some of the coolest celebrity homes around. Don't just take our word for it. Each week, we give you the full scoop on what makes Vegas an incredible place to live and the info you need to make the move. So if you're ready to discover the real Vegas beyond the strip, check out the Vegas Live podcast available on all streaming platforms. Hit that link in the bio and start exploring. Yeah, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Vegas Live podcast. My name is Chris Cash. Alan Turner, the Rhythm Realtor. Kevin Sherba, 20-year mortgage veteran. Yes, yes, yes. We are going to talk about lifestyle and amenities here in the beautiful city of Las Vegas slash Henderson. Slash Summerlin. Slash. 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 North Las Vegas. Slash it. Mm. Slash it. Slash it. Let's talk about the lifestyle. Well, what about the lifestyle, guys? What's I think your lifestyle? There's plenty like? of different lifestyles. Yeah, right very robust. And Ro- it's popping. This is the second time you said robust on this show. What does robust mean exactly? I don't it know. Means full of flavor. Ah, ah. <laughs> bursting. Oh, that's my new word today. Seems with flavor. Robust. I feel like there's the there's the strip lifestyle. Yeah. The party lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And then I feel like a lot of people come out here for work. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But I think a lot of also like younger, you know, in their t- teens and twenties, they do the strip, and right. then as they get older, they like migrate more north to like right. Fremont, you know, Fremont uh, experience, yeah. Fremont. That, that's more like the local spot, yeah. right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It, and downtown's popping now, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Almost oh, yeah. definitely. They they flipped that place all the way around. Yeah. You would not be down there during the daytime, uh, twenty years ago. Yeah. Back back in the day. Right. Yeah. Like, it was, it was no. tough, and th- and this is coming from me, where I started off as a, a strip. I was a club promoter, okay. uh, a club host, and stuff like that. So I, I went, I came from that life. Vegas life, nightlife, living in San City. You used to hustle and stay litty every single day, yeah, staying real litty, huh? Yeah, and then when <laughs> I, and then um, as I got older, yeah, I transitioned to the outer areas of. Las Vegas, which I like a lot more, you know. I have a family now, two kids, white picket fence, everything. You, you made it, bro. A lot of people I come out. The dream. They they, yeah. they they live that stay litty, yeah. and yeah. then they leave because they can't handle it. Absolutely. I mean, if you, if so you succeed, right, you get a career going, mm-hmm. have some kids, yeah. get a family going, and move to the outskirts yeah. where yeah. you know. So they yeah. Life. So let's keep it real with everybody that that that's listening. You know, Las Vegas isn't for everybody. Because right. as far as temptation goes, yeah. temptation is definitely here. Let's not elude that. They call it Sin City for a reason. But if you can withstand and, and hold away from and those make things it through. and make it through, it is a beautiful city to be at. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's a lot of self-discovery. Like I, That's what I it is. came here to recreate myself. And I really found myself in the mm-hmm. city because it just forces you mm-hmm. to do that. So right. um, I got in with my church. Yeah. Uh, I'm Buddhist. So, I mean, that's the only equivalent. But I got with my my, my Buddhist group, mm-hmm. uh, really got involved with that. Um, she met this cat at the radio station, yeah. Hot 97. Oh, I thought you were going to say at the Buddhist church. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, really just got, and yeah. just got really involved with music and yeah. being creative and, you know, got the pleasure to form a band and be a part of yeah. that for 10 years for yeah. so for my what, half of my 10 years. What year. bro? What do you mean? Uh, rhyme and Rhythm. There you go. Yeah. V- very famous I band. mean, I knew about the rhythm part. What, rhyme and Rhythm. They've won multiple awards what, out here. What kind of band? Best what? Uh, independent band ever what, by the what Las kind of Vegas music? Review Journal. What kind of music? 
Uh, it was a fusion. We did live music. We actually had like live instruments. I okay, was one of the super. MCs. We had about eight people in our band. Was it hip hop, rap? Hip hop, jazz, reggae, rock. Oh, all we of did it. it all. Nice. Yeah, we. I mean, we actually had music. Did you? So. so you were you were on the mic, right? Yeah, I was one of the MCs. Did you have any? Do you play any instruments? I do percussion. Mm. Nice. Yeah. But also, I mean, I did uh, other means of production um, and like recording techniques yeah all that kind of stuff so yeah but mostly uh percussion me and my dad we do uh kungas nice mm. nice nice yeah i too came out here for music and just dived into the whole music scene i love it still do music to today um and you know it's vegas life all day every day so as far you as used to produce too right i still produce i produce rap record record i do it all break like, dance break <laughs> Shoot, what? <laughs> I do everything. I'm all the elements of hip hop. I, I don't really. I'm, I'm not an artist. I don't. I don't do the graffiti. Right. You know, I'm not. I'm not really good at that. My son is really good at drawing and stuff like that. So there maybe, you go. Maybe he could do that. But all that, I'm. I'm into it. So the lifestyle here is. It. It, it is what you make it. You know. But the totally. self discovery. What you said is 100 percent true because. Vegas will test whatever limits that you have, right. you know, because mm -hmm. it's all here. And you got to self-discover yourself. Otherwise, you might not make it out. <laughs> when you guys came here for the first couple of years, was it like heavy into the gambling or what? Mm -hmm. um, I, I moved right before I turned. To, well, I was 20. So I, yeah, I didn't do any of that. No? I was already partying in California. So right. even clubbing wasn't really, you know, because you can go to a club at 18. Mm -hmm. In California. So. No, this this place turned me out, bro. Like, yeah, it turned <laughs> me, me out to me a whole too. turned me out Two to years. a whole different world, really? bro. Two years. Yeah, cause it, gamble, 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 yeah. man. I yeah. was like, you know what? Maybe what was I your could, game? Maybe I could be a millionaire. What, uh, what, what was I your had game? the same thoughts. I, I was dumb. I played slots. Well, okay. uh, because it's you know what's messed up? Because I, I fell into that too when I first got here. You know, I start, I started to make good money, right? And then. You know, I was bored and I put a little money in, in, into the, into that's, the machine. That's what happens, right? You I move hit. Here, you don't I, have anybody. Yeah. So you're like, let me just go. And then I hit. I'm like, whoa, I just made that much money. Maybe I could do it again. I right. hit again. I'm like, this, shoot. I'm that's the worst thing that can happen. And then you start chasing. When yeah. you win. Yeah, absolutely. When you win. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then that's how that's how they get you. You know, you know, the, the casinos weren't built on everybody winning. I was that's this close and not making it. Yeah, what happened? You, the gambling. Yeah, right. Wow. Get a paycheck, take it to the casino. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. yeah, and that's the other part because then you cash your checks at the casino yeah. too, and you get a free drink. You're like, oh, let me get a free drink. Oh, the station <laughs> casinos. That's where I was cashing my checks. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> you get a little spin the wheel. But I went cash my check and got the hell out of there. Yeah, yeah. That was it. Yeah, no. That's I, smart. Or I will put twenty bucks in the machine See, and just whatever, and then and then boom. another twenty, and then another. That, that, that's 20. a gateway See, twenty. Yeah, yeah got to And then we started doing hundreds, five dollar yeah. Nope. See, yeah, yeah. gotta get out of there. But one thing that people don't really know much about Vegas is that the outdoor scene is very good out here too, as well, because we have Mount Charleston, right? Yep. So everybody thinks it's just gambling and and you know the party life and city life type deal, but. You can go, um, mount, I don't know if you guys mountain bike or anything like that. No. But um, you can go mountain biking out there. Also, skiing. snowboarding. Snowboard. Yeah. yeah, skiing. I love skiing and snowboarding. Like Camping. I would do that every day if I could. You know what I mean? So. I still have not been up there. Really? We should go this year. Yeah. Like, I need to go up there when it's Field like 120 trip. down here. Yeah, that's, yeah. it's like, and it's 20, 80, right? it's like usually like 20 degrees cooler. Yeah. yeah. It so is, when yeah. it's like burning down here, it's like 85 up there. Yeah. Lovely. Absolutely. Yeah. Nice little breeze too. Didn't that, didn't that thing, the, uh, the, whatever, the lodge, the lodge burn yeah, down, right? Down. Mm, yeah. Did they rebuild they did. it? Yeah, they, they did. They, yeah, okay. they did. It's nice. Nice up there. Go Probably th this year I'm going to do a thing for my birthday. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do a little snow, snow trip. Okay. Up at Lee Canyon. Let's hit the slopes. Let's do it. We're gonna rent out the little uh yurt. It's a, it's a little yurt. It's called a yurt. A yurt? It's like a yeah, that's what <laughs> it's called. Yeah, a yurt. A little yurt. What uh, like a little like a little cabin, a little right? Tent, like a little tent, little cabin tent thing right there. Right there on the back. <laughs> what? What he said What's cabin like, or yurt? tent, bro? Yurt? A yurt cabin called? tent. Yeah. No, that's a no for you? A yurt. What? No, yeah, it's I'm called just, a yurt. I'm it's it's stuck. it's like it's a, it's a yurt. Yeah, it's a yurt. Do you okay. it's it's a shelter you have uh -huh. to shelter you from the elements. elements yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Are you gonna look up yurt? Is that no, what you're gonna do? No. 
Oh. After after the after show. After the show. Yeah. yeah. But you know it's it's really nice. We have the yurt at the bottom of, of the hill. Okay. So as you as do you snowboard, you ask ski, snowboard no. anything? No, so we're we're definitely gonna like hurt ourselves out there. Yes, but, it, but it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. I'll do the what the sled, the bob sled. That's what I was whatever. thinking. I'll just sled. Yeah. Y'all got a man up. Y'all I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't <laughs> know with my a, ankle injury. Got, uh, yeah, I don't yeah, know if, got, I, if I'll be able to do. No, you have that. boots on. You have like a whole thing. You have equipment. You're bro. I'll show you. Let me which, show. Well, you. which one do you <laughs> prefer first, the snowboarding or skiing? I haven't gone skiing. Never. I mean, I have gone skiing, but yeah. I haven't <laughs> gone skiing. Ew. It's just, it's, it's a different thing. I snowboard. I'm, I personally, right. I love snowboarding. Okay. Um, I when I first, I first did it in Las Vegas, and I just fell in love with it. And I every year I, we go snowboarding. That's dope. We go snowboarding for my birthday. So. Yeah, I think I missed the boat on that. So I really wanted to go <laughs> as a teenager. Yeah. I never went I as a teenager. Really couldn't when afford did you start it. Going? I, so I didn't. Thirties. Twenties. Like, 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 yeah, like five years ago. Really? All right. Now if he did hooks. it, dude, I think we could yeah. probably try it out. I never, I never did. did we don't it. have to go down like a super crazy mountain, bro. I'll show you the ways, guys. Oh, man, it'll be all right. I don't know. Yurt, yurt, yeah, dude. snowboarding. It's weird. What? It's weird. All cold and shit. Hitting right. rocks. I'm down. Okay. Let's cool. Do cool. It. We also have a lake here in, in Las Vegas too. So. Yep. You got I mean, Lake Mead. Yeah. Never been there either, bro. Bro, what the. No lifestyle over here. Well, bro. look, dude, I'm from I'm from Sacramento, California. Okay, right? we oh. got lakes, rivers, all all the all the water shit, right? Yeah, yeah. I've seen pictures. Well, I went to Lake Mead to check out the dam, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, <laughs> but it's a weird lake, man. Right. It's like got nothing around it. It's like not. I know. I agree. I get it. You know, it's like we it's do. Dope, I, I do like to go. Um, what's it called? The uh, not Havasu. What's the What's the other city next? Laughlin. Laughlin yeah. and go. Uh, uh, Dude, I see pictures of that. I want to go check Laughlin it out. Laughlin is fun. Yeah, Laughlin is dope. fun. I, I went there a few times as a kid. Yeah. Hit the the, the ski dudes or yeah. what, what are those called? Sea dudes. Sea dudes? Yeah. Sea dudes? yeah. yeah. Hit the sea, jet, ski. th- th- jet skis. Yeah. yeah. That, sh- that shit's fun. That shit's fun. You know what I'm saying? We have that here in Las Vegas. You know? they got, don't they have a, a riverboat a casino too? Yeah, yeah it's right on the water, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's good times, man. You do a little gambling. The entertainment and and the dining possibilities here in Las Vegas is endless, and we're not talking about just the strip. Also, like off the strip, there's a lot of great things as well. You know, you have the all the station casinos and stuff like that. And, and it's like an hour or two hours away from some shit too. What? How far is Laughlin? Mm-hmm. About, about an hour, an hour and a half. Hour, hour, right? Yeah, hour and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You get yeah. to Arizona super quick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Utah is not too far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a nice. It's a nice little hub. I like to call Vegas like a hub That's too. A, lot, yeah. a hub, and then when you want to like travel, this is a great hub. International travel. Now or? that I think about it, I should have got a job at the airlines. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it, he's like it. real estate, right? music, rapper. You know what? I'm gonna get a job at the airlines. Yeah. Now. That's a great idea, right? <laughs> the revelation. Boom, boom, pow. Do we have any uh, um, shoppings or, or shoppings. dining? Th- <laughs> shoppings. You got shoppings? Do you have any shopping. shoppings? Shoppings. Do you have any dining options that you really like or you really enjoy? Um, I do. I do hit up. I do like a nice uh, happy hour. Ah, happy so, hour. Yeah, uh, Yard House Yard definitely house. is know. like, it has the best of everything. Yeah, Plus, I agree. for my diet too, they have a lot of options so i agree yard house they just actually just opened one at uh-huh. sunset station oh. does it yard houses they got the bar with like the thousand beers yeah. on tap or some beers. Beers. five five miles of five beers in beer. taps and oh. lines oh wow yeah that's nuts yeah all in one place beers. i love beers beers we got a bunch of them uh so yeah yard house um uh, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah town square is definitely you can find anything there uh, downtown Summerlin, they have a lot of options there. Um, you got Fashion Show Mall. Well, that's on the strip. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, if you're visiting, uh, you can go there, there, right? But yeah, if mm-hmm. you're, if, you know, yep. F1's coming up, so F1s. You know, yeah, they're already like tearing right down there. the strip for that already. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, try and drive down there right now. Yeah, dude, yeah. are they gonna get the 15 fixed ever? No, it's gonna be a constant thing. It's gonna be right, an ongoing like, thing. You know what? I drove. For how long? What do you mean? Like, what are they actually doing? Uh, they're building stuff. They want it to be like seventeen thousand lanes they're or always, what? They're always building stuff, bro. Like, I went down the strip last week. There's a whole new mall that they're building on the strip. Really? Right there, right there, before, in between Tropicana and what, Flamingo and Harmon. 
right where the the yeah, Hawaiian possibly. market used to be. Yeah, that's a whole new thing. Really? Yeah. It's like I'm like I drive down. I'm like, what is this? Then I see the F1 stuff coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh my god. One thing about Vegas is it's always constantly changing. So when you come to Las Vegas, make sure you take pictures and take videos because that. Did you guys see the yeah. the casino? And then the trap coming yeah. down. Yeah. Did you saw it? It was good, right? Yeah, it's fun, right? Yeah. Did nice. you go to it or no. saw on TV? Yeah, saw on TV. I just yeah. watched the next day right. all my friends posting about it. Oh, uh, yeah. It looked like it was pretty tight. I, the next time they knock one down, I want to go check it out. Okay. That's probably going to be soon. Because it's, they, yeah. They're, they they're always knocking next week, shit down. Knock down stuff all the time here in Las Vegas. That's one thing about Vegas that is very prevalent. Yep. You got And then you got the district, too. Right the here. The district. Right down yep. the street. I like hanging out uh, at the district. When are they going to yeah. knock down, like, at the end of the strip, like, you know, like Mandalay's right here? Mm -hmm. You know that little strip mall? Mm -hmm. That's been That's done. It's never going to get rid of that. Wait, what about, strip? like, the Harley Davidson or the pinball it's like it's got they got thing. a little little like liquor store there and like it looks like oh, something out of like the station yeah that's right for the radio there. station yeah it's, it's, yeah. yeah yeah they gotta get rid of that That's really cool. Have, haven't they did they, they i think they did though they did, did they i think so they're doing something i i know they're doing something for sure always doing something so do we have tips for people adjusting to the las vegas climate because we had mentioned earlier that the climate changes really sharply get, your, get yourself a bottle of lotion bro lotion because oh, yeah. it's dry it, out it's here. dry it is it is it is very dry yeah you definitely want to uh weatherize your home too uh, oh weatherize down, my home i never keep, heard of this keep down you have the energy homes. bills yeah you solar i know uh i know you know definitely <laughs> for the older homes yeah you definitely want to look into that uh keeping your you know energy energy efficiency dual up. pay windows mm -hmm. yeah if you got an old enough house man it gets hot yeah it does it does yeah. So, yeah. Um, and also to your uh, water heater. What about? You might want to start adjusting. You know the uh, the heat on there too. Dude, I turn it down. You know during the summer. Because mm. I mean it's pretty much the pipe outside that comes into the house is yeah. like a thousand degrees. Yeah. So. Yeah. Now, now we're entering into the time where you want to, you know, turn up it up a little notch okay. right. too, uh, and also your ceiling fans too. There's a there's a mode that go you know, up instead of down. Yeah, you oh, want to go see, up. He knows it. Is it up in the in the winter and up then in the down winter, in the okay. down yeah. in the summer because heat rises, so oh. you want it to spread oh, and blow around yeah, the room. Okay. So those are little little tips. tidbits. Hey, what's up, future real estate rock stars? I'm Chris Cash, and if you're looking to take your real estate career to the next level, I got something incredible for you. Las Vegas is booming, and so is the opportunity for realtors who want to make a real impact. But in today's market, it's not just about selling homes. It's about building a brand, creating meaningful connections, and leveraging the power of social media to generate leads. He who controls the media controls the mind. That is why I am building a dynamic real estate team, a team where we don't just work hard, we work smart, where every lead is an opportunity and every opportunity leads a step closer to greatness. So if you're ready to join a team that values innovation, collaboration, and success, let's have a conversation because I feel together we could turn them dreams into keys. I can't wait to see what we're gonna achieve. We are back. We are back. Woo! We had to take a quick uh, break to recharge our batteries. Yeah, and we, we actually we had a, a on the tail end of the last conversation we were talking about yeah. you know how to colder prepare. weather, how to prepare the cold weather, weather, hot weather, and, dry weather. You know, right? yeah. I wanted to bring up a, a concern. Well, I concern. said um, people that are from other climates because mm -hmm. you talked about climates. Yes, uh, I did. They're gonna probably need a bottle of lotion. Yeah. yeah, and we don't talk enough about you know our Caucasian. Uh, you know, partners over here that get that, ashy. You know, that get ashy. Right. You get ashy. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Oh, I mean, out here. Oh yeah. So I came from North, I came from Northern California. Yeah. yeah. They have like twenty five percent, thirty percent humidity, yeah. right? Because it's near the ocean. Right. Right. So I never use lotion. Mm. I came out here, man. A couple of years, like my hands were all like, yeah. especially during COVID, wash yeah. your hands every day. Yeah. So do do you have a brand that you? prefer or I, I switch recommend it up, man. for I like Caucasian. I like that uh, <laughs> what works best for coffee and skin <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I fuck with the gold bond okay oh, okay nice yeah Shaq 
Yeah, he has, yeah. He, he, he yeah. has a brand ambassador. He right. is. He Shaq probably that, owns actually. That guy's that guy's a savvy businessman for sure. Dude, he's got oh, like every everything's Shaq yeah. commercial, bro. And and I would like to also add too that the 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 dryness also is really good for for women's hair. You know what I'm saying? I used to be a club promoter, so I look at women all day, every day. There you go. Um, for research purposes. Yeah. Well, yeah. He's like it's not fr- it's not frizzy or like it doesn't like puff up. It, no, they they they're able to curl it. A lot easier because you know I, I like them curls in, in the hair. Yeah. You know when when when, <laughs> when um you know Taking like they're behind the curtain <laughs> when they're uh like in, in, in a more uh what's it called moisture yeah the curls get sweated out right. faster right. a lot drop out uh, faster you know what I'm saying they're they're able to hold it a lot longer here. These are awesome. good great tips, man. Yeah. Move to Vegas if you want curls in your hair. Yeah, absolutely. You know, if you if you have like uh, maybe an oily skin problem, mm, yeah. you know, dry it right out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also another ooh, ooh, I got one more. Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Allergies. Yeah, allergies. I'm from Northern California, trees, grass, mm, all that yeah. shit. No. Dude, yeah. I died every spring. Oh wow. I came wow. out here zero allergies. Really? Right, right. right. I mean, what am I gonna be allergic to? Dirt? I mean <laughs> I guess if you have a dust or dirt allergy, yeah. then that, that that definitely could be a problem. Yep, yep. All right. Well, you came out here for work. I basically came out here for work. You know what I mean? Did I you? came out here for family. Oh, okay. Just a change. Okay. Well, let's let's talk about you know the the, the job market, um, and stuff like that. And then <laughs> and, and, and then and then we'll get it. We'll get into the market reports. All right. Yes. So, what do you think? Like the main job that people come out here and do? Um. Of course, you know, uh, hospitality, entertainment, entertainment is, right? is, yep, yep. Is, and, you know, big, you know, tourism and stuff like that is, is, is very big. But there's other new sectors popping up that is starting to, to make waves. Like a lot of tech companies are moving here. Yes. Um, Save the, it on taxes. Yeah, exactly. Rem- their remote work. A lot of remote work mm-hmm. here. Um, the entertainment industry, as far as movie production. Yeah is coming out here yeah universal right. studios they're going to be moving or focusing on the area by area 15. Mm-hmm. so yeah. in that it's going to be uh they're going to be the highest concentration of like movie studios in that area so yeah. Yeah. they're done with california too they ain't got no room <laughs> yeah <laughs> And, and the taxes, taxes. And, and taxes. I think it's taxes, man. And, and and taxes as well. And we also got to understand this: every single industry that you could think of has their convention here in Las Vegas. Oh yeah. Any right. industry that you're in, like construction or construction uh, con, you, SEMA, you know say everything. Tech. You know what I'm saying? Every industry has their big convention here in Las Vegas. I think. And 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 people used to come out here for their conventions for years, right? Yeah. yeah. But absolutely. we never actually had like a regular city feel right it was always uh mm-hmm. tourism yeah but now yeah. we got all these sports coming in yeah so now companies are like you know what maybe we should do it let's, yeah. do, let's do it um there's no state income tax um there's no like whatever the business a lot of tax benefits there, there is business right. taxes there, there is yeah 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 they get they get taxed a little bit a but little it's, bit. it's more favorable to the businesses mm-hmm. you know for yeah their, still not california for their cost, mm-hmm. yeah. right and also networking here is, is is huge. A lot a lot of people come out here to party and hang out. You can definitely network with a lot of people here. Yep. Right. You know? Yeah, that's that was one of the uh when I first joined EXP, we used to have a mixer, uh an industry mixer and appreciation mixer. Yeah. Uh usually every month, uh the last Thursday of the month we would have, you know, we'd go up to WeWork, yeah, we'd have some drinks, yeah. catering, uh invite other uh, realtors, uh, title partners, loan officers, home inspection, whatever, and we would all get together and just network. Yeah, you know, party it up, real estate style. Yeah, got it. I think I, I reconnected with him at, at, at one of his mixers. Events. Yeah, at one. Yeah, of his. We, uh, we had a EXP con. It yeah. was um, yeah two years ago. Yeah, at Mandalay Bay. Yeah, before I even nice. thought about being a realtor. Yeah. So then, and then you got in, and now you had your first. You had a mixer. Yeah. To we're gonna, an event, uh, event at what S Bar. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do another one. We need to bring that back. We're gonna do that. That was one. cool. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do another one. It's, it's a lot of good times. A lot, it's a lot of fun. Um. Yeah. And people need to know about real estate. Yeah. Because nobody told me when I was younger about like, hey, hey there, look here. <laughs> look here, man. You need <laughs> to own like five homes. <laughs> really? I thought I just needed like Gucci bags and and foreigns like. That's not an asset, man. I, yeah. I know what nobody told me. <laughs> nobody told me that. Can't grow. Ec- well, actually, I guess you know if you get something nice value. enough, you know Gucci bags and stuff like that might be assets. No, no Gucci bags. No. 
maybe a watch. Maybe in 40 years. Maybe maybe a Rolex, yeah. Right. Rolexes, yeah. stuff like that. Those. But you can't bust it down, though. You got to keep it. Yeah, you can't bust it down. going to yeah. put, put like 100, 100 diamonds on it. Like, bro. It's the value come. down. That's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it, it's, like, it's like a house, right? So if you take a house and you overly customize it. Not going to get the value it, back. Not, it starts losing value because you got to make it more practical for Overdid you, it. For mm-hmm. everybody else. So let's uh, talk about the market report and then we'll get to the final key takeaways and tips for making a smooth transition. transition. All right. So we came down a bit on the average price. We're at four hundred and sixty nine thousand. Oh, Wait, we dollars. went up last week, right? Yeah, we went up and now we're going back down. See? Well, actually, two weeks ago when we first started, it, it was at four eighty five and now we've we've been coming down. So, yeah, um, stability is on the way. Uh, 5,500 homes on the market. Okay. So that's kind of an increase. It's actually an increase uh, yeah. over the last few months. You think that's just like like uh, summer, spring to winter? Yeah, the market's just slowing, slowing down. down. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and then we have 426 new homes uh, on the market. Mm-hmm. And the median days of mar- on market is 47 days. Oh, so it's, it's so we're on the market cool. a little longer, right? So we're, we're cooling off a little yeah. bit, uh, okay. getting ready for the holidays, and that's usually the season, yeah. you know, for our market. So, yeah. Um, un- un- unless you list with a great realtor that knows how to sell and price your home and knows the market well, those days on the markets go down. <laughs> FYI. Give you well, a call. also the interest yeah. rates, though, too. Yeah, like, yeah I was going to say, yeah, reason kinda. number two right yeah. now is rates went back up, yes, right? We talked about it last okay. week. Um, they didn't come down any this week. Mm. Okay. They kept going up. Okay. Um, okay. We had an employment report today. Mm-hmm. Only added 12,000 jobs, which is super low. Okay. And last jobs report that screwed up the interest rates, mm-hmm. they revised it down 100,000. Oh. Mm, so okay. it wasn't actually that robust. Oh. Ah, there you go. That's like the word of the day. <laughs> so with so, um, so with the jobs, right? On this report, do they do they uh, segment the type of jobs? Yeah, they do. Oh, okay. I just wanted to know, so I want to grab that information because uh, what we like to do here is take information, analyze it for our clients, so they can kind of see, see what the jobs are interpreted. Yeah. Right. So so yeah. So they downward revised a hundred thousand jobs. So these mm-hmm. job reports, unfortunately, they uh, they're important right now. Because the Fed is deciding whether or not to cut rates mm-hmm. or keep them the same. Yeah. Based off of how employment is doing. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So if the data on these reports is bullshit, like it mm-hmm. was last week yeah. or last time they reported, um, it hurt interest rates for no reason. Mm. Damn. No bueno. No hurt. bueno. But, but we have that, you know, obviously the election coming up next week. Uh, so a lot of my clients are kind of like sidelining. Yeah. Absolutely. Waiting to see what happens because something's going to. It's going to be a big change yeah regardless of who gets elected yeah. there's going to be a big shift in the stock Absolutely. and bond markets i know i know who's going to get elected i have my bet in i'm just going to hold that to myself well yeah. they got we well, don't get political on the show they got they got I'm trump just, favored he's i'm talking now. about gambling here oh, i'm not talking about yeah, know, yeah that's, that's what i mean I'm yeah they, about uh, he's <laughs> a, i think he's at a minus 170 right now oh yeah that's right. about that's about good odds so good odds. but you never know man but you never know who, who, where oh. where is the money at though that's what you got do you have the information no. i don't oh okay well let's go <laughs> <laughs> well moving on then moving, <laughs> moving right along all right key take takeaways from this uh this episode and tips for having a smooth transition to las vegas one tip is make sure you have a a, a good uh, moving company right yeah you know that helps yeah. also too uh you move your utilities we um i do have a service uh that helps to f- f- uh, forward your mail yeah sorry uh get your uh envy energy set up um mm-hmm. all that stuff cox internet all that stuff yeah. so if you need that kind of information because that definitely helps if you are relocating right. to have your utilities in the right spot so mm-hmm. we have a link for that too yeah the other part is getting uh getting your your if you're going to get financing getting that straightened out yeah before you even think about looking right um absolutely basically i've had clients that if they're going to work remote or if they're not going to work remote, a lot of people have trouble because they're going to come over and they're going to find work, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, if you have a job where you're at and it's not, you're not going to be able to verify that you're going to be able to work remote at that right, job, right, right. then that we can't use that income, right? Right. So it might be a situation where you have to rent for six months, 12 months to get your employment going here, mm. right? So that's that's a concern that some people have. Okay. 
So call me. Okay. <laughs> so basically, call him. Right. Call us. Call him. Tune into the Vegas Life Podcast all the time. Shout out to Havana Grill and yeah. Bakery. Yes. We got our Cuban coffee for today. Delicious. Kept fueled up. Yeah. Uh, open house next weekend, Saturday, November the 9th, 11 to 2 p.m. Okay. Uh, you got an address? We have 9025 Dolente Avenue. Oh, okay. That's uh, Lone Mountain Centennial okay. Hills area. Yeah. A lot of people are buying up there. A yeah. Lot, a lot of people are buying up there. They're doing a lot of... Uh, I think they're planning on moving a, a master plan community. Okay. And also, they have uh, Clark County. They have a special incentive. They actually bought land, and they're going to be doing some affordable homes oh, okay. in Sweet. that area. Sweet. I like it up there because it's closer to the mountain. So when I go snowboarding, I always pass by that area. And I was like, what if I had a house over here? Be just, just hop, skip, and jump to go snowboarding. Boom, snowboarding real quick. Snowboarding, yeah. come back down. Yeah. So yeah, 90... 25 Dolente Avenue, Las Vegas, Nevada. 89129. Right. So, yeah. The night out there. Come check us out. All right. So, on our next show, we're going to be in a new presidency. So, that's uh, that's going to be. We're going to be talking about it. Yeah. We're not supposed to be political, but I'm sure we're going to talk uh, about that. I'm talking about gambling. Well, so. we'll talk. We'll, t- we'll talk about another angle of it, yes. Right. Okay. How it affects real estate and or how real how estate. it has affected the market. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, I don't got no, nothing else to say. Yeah. Bless you. Uh, anything? No. All right. Call us 702-832-5704. 702-505-3297. Or drop a comment below. Let us know what you thought. Let us know what information you like us to cover or what type of videos or type of content you like us to create. Any suggestions? Talk to us. We will talk back. Holla, holla. And we're out. I guess we're out. Yeah. Late. Peace, peace. <laughs>